We're in the Farmolo building with Charles Douglas, who's a principal clay modeler at Jaguar Cars. Charles, tell us what a clay modeler does. Okay, um, clay modeler's role is basically to turn a designer's sketch into 3D form, which is what you see here. So the designer does the designs on a computer, presumably, and then how do you turn that into a, a 3D prototype form? Well, I mean, his, his original I mean, a, a design does still start with a, a pencil sketch, a piece of paper. Obviously, computers play a big part in design process nowadays. At the back of the model here, you can see an armature of a clay. This blue that you see there is foam armature. It's been milled 50 millimeters below the finished surface. At the front end, there is clay ready to go. It's a shape that has been approved as a concept car. So what I'm doing here at the moment, just dropping this um, light and bonnet surface down to a new tape line that's been put on. So just basically by using tools like this, slicks, one side's got uh, teeth in and the other side's smooth. At the moment, I'm just raking it in, just getting a, a different sketch on the model. So gradually, by working the clay surface in different directions, we can get down to the, the, clay, the tape line here and produce a different shape. So how much of this is a, is a craft skill, isn't a hand-eye coordination skill? Do you literally look at the drawings and interpret them yourself? There's no laser beams to check whether you're doing it right. Well, uh, around the model, it, it's not just a, a, a random lump of clay. This is a controlled um, shape. Uh, for example, there's engineering points all around the bonnet, crash points on the front bumper. You can move the clay around to a certain extent and be free, but however, there's control points all around the model that have got to be respected. I mean, you've got to get an engine in there. You've got to be able to get in and out. And there's, there's engineering points that you cannot go below. And a designer, when he, when he, he wants to um, drop the roof, for example, there's a, there's a point that, that tells him, no, you can't go any lower than that. But are design decisions being made around the clay model? Will the designer come up and say, that looks good, but maybe try taking a little bit more off? Always, always. That's, that's what happens in the design process. My job is to, uh, to give the designer what, what he's after. If, if he wants to move the body side in 10 millimeters, that's what we do. He, he's in charge. So from the time when the designer hands over the drawing or the sketch or the CAD model or whatever, how long does it normally take to turn that into a car that you're all happy with? Well, it's, it, it's variable. Sometimes it can take a couple of months, other times it take a year. So it just depends on, on, on the model really. And when everyone's happy with the clay model, when it's been signed off, how has that then turned into real car parts? The information from this body will be scanned electronically and that information is the information that decides the shape of the fender. It'll go to make the, the metal press exactly to the presses the bodies. And is your handiwork then tweaked in the computer or is, is your what you've done actually sent as an instruction to the computers that make the tools? Well, I, I think it is I think it is tweaked to a certain extent, you know. But what you see uh, the finished the finished model should be what is actually driving on the road. So it is a handcraft process as much as a technological process. Yes. Thanks very much. Good job. No worries.